Welcome to the Swinger swim type, type 5 of our 6 swim types. You can find out more about the system at swimtypes.com. Now swingers are very interesting swimmers who have formerly got a bit of a bad rap. Let's have a quick look at their strokes here. Now Paul, you're a bit of a swinger yourself, so tell us from experience <laughs> about this swim type a little bit more. Absolutely. As a, uh, as a younger swimmer I used to have the nickname Steamboat Willie. Apparently I used to turn the arms over very, very quickly and had a relatively short stroke. It seemed to really suit me well though when I got into triathlon and open water swimming where that continuous momentum at the front end of the stroke really helped me in choppy conditions and sw in swimming in close contact with other swimmers. But the interesting thing about the swinger is that whilst over top, the top of the water the stroke style can appear to be a little bit unorthodox and not particularly smooth, the world's best open water swimmers and triathletes who are predominantly swingers when viewed from underneath the water, are incredibly efficient indeed. Now most swingers have a significant swimming background, normally as a child, or perhaps they've come through master swimming. They know they're good swimmers because they're swimming well, but as Paul said, they're often given a bit of a bad rap within the squad situation. This is very unfortunate really, and they're very misunderstood in how they, what makes their stroke efficient and fast. So looking at this video footage here, I'm sure you can see some common themes you'll see that there's almost no stop at the front of the stroke. In fact, very often they're starting at the front of the stroke before they finish the previous stroke at the rear. This gives them that fast, punchy style. An overglider, of course, would pause at the front of the stroke, so somewhere between 0.4 and a whole second, and this really kills their rhythm. Most swingers are between 0 and 0.1 of a second delay at the front of the stroke. If you're a little bit technical, you might have been interested in those numbers. If you're not, don't worry. And in fact, most swingers aren't particularly technical people. They're a little bit impatient. They just like to get on with it. And we like to feel things by doing them. Now, I work with Paul Newsom day in, day out. <laughs> and trust me, he's very much that sort of person. I'll be saying, oh, should we do like this, should we do like that? And he'll be saying, let's just bloody get on with it. Absolutely, absolutely. And there's nothing really wrong with that. And swingers themselves really do feel like they can turn the brain off and, and go for these longer distances. And that's why you know some of the world's best open water swimmers and triathletes do make for are swingers and do make for very, very good swimmers. Um, seven times world marathon swimming champion Shelley Taylor-Smith, when you ask her what she thinks about with her stroke, very often she struggles to actually find a reply. She just, she just says, well, I just get on with it. I just get into my rhythm and get into my zone. And consequently, you know, she's able to swim for 12, 15 hours at a time and uh, knock out some incredibly brilliant performances. Now, within the swim tight system, we actually have two ideal swim tights, ideal in the inverted commas, the smooth and then the swinger. Traditionally, swim coaches have looked at great swimmers and said the smooth is the ideal type, but that's disregarding all the great performances and Olympic gold medals from swingers. This really, when it's in a refined form, can be a great, great, very fast, very efficient stroke, both in the pool and in open water. Now, from obviously the arms are turning over quite quickly here, and so naturally it would suit a shorter swimmer but there are a lot of examples of tall swimmers who swim very well with this style too. They tend to make very good natural endurance athletes and aren't very good sprinters. If you come from a master swimming background yourself and are a swinger, you may have noticed you're not very good with a kickboard and over short sprint events, 50 and 100, you may not be nearly as quick as your contemporaries. But once we're up to 800 and out into the open water, you really get your revenge, striking back at those smooths. Now swingers come in quite a wide range of forms. At the elite level, they're very much refined in their strokes, moving very sweetly through the water indeed. But perhaps at the masters and the squad level, if you haven't worked on your stroke technique for a while, perhaps things have got a little bit rough around the edges. You might have a bit of a crossover in your stroke, and it's possible you're getting into your catch just a touch too quickly. The swinger swim tight guide will address all those points, refining your stroke a touch without harming your sense of rhythm will get you moving more efficiently and quick, even quicker again, and perhaps setting some PBs from your youth along the way. And if you really want to know whether you're a swinger or not, just check your selection of swim gear. Many swingers tend to opt for quite bright bathers, which they find to sort of almost represent their personality, which tends to be quite extrovert and outgoing. They really do love swimming. Something else we've noticed about swingers, and if you are one yourself or you know a few of you, you might have noticed this, 
they tend to, well, they absolutely love swimming for a start, but they tend to be the, the first swimmer on the pool deck before a session, rolling up maybe 10 or 15 minutes before the start, dying to get in the water. Whereas the smooths, conversely, tend to roll up a little bit late. They've been there, they've seen there, they've done it. Not quite as motivated. Motivation is very rarely a problem for a swinger. As a swinger myself, I recognise the fact that the whole reason we call the swinger the swinger is due to the nature of the arm stroke or the recovery phase over the top of the water, which tends to be a little bit straighter and can be, in some cases, a little bit more ballistic in appearance than this smooth coming over with that classic high elbow recovery. This does carry with it a few issues, such as the potential for shoulder issues, a thumb first entry into the water combined with a crossover, and if you've been swimming for many, many years, the swingers can be very, very susceptible to shoulder issues. You'll find that within the swim type guide that we try and address these facts and ensure that your hand entry in particular into the water is, becomes much, much more refined and takes off any issues that you may have occurring within the shoulder there.